How you doing everyone? Welcome back. Today I thought we'd discuss some A harmonic minor runs. These are some ways that I visualize the A harmonic minor scale when I'm improvising or just kind of doing some faster runs. Um, I love the A harmonic minor scale. I think if you learn your harmonic minor, your melodic minor, and just your regular natural minors and majors, you're pretty much set to play any style you'd like. Um, the notes in the A harmonic minor scale are A, B, C. D, E, F, G sharp, and A. So it's a natural minor scale with a raised seventh. You can play that over a lot of different chords. If you played over A minor or an A minor major seven, it would be A harmonic minor. If you played over an E seven, it has more of a Phrygian dominant sound, even though it's the same notes, the way it's harmonizing against the chord. And that's what you hear guys like Ingve do a lot. So if we start this on the second string, on the D note, just because where it falls on the neck more than anything, we'll come up with three, five, six on the second string, four, five, seven on the first string. Then on the second string, we'll play E, F, and G sharp, and A, B, and C. And then six, nine, 10 on the second, seven, eight, 10 on the first, 9, 10, 12 on the second, 8, 10, 12 on the first, 10, 12, 13 on the second, 10, 12, 13 on the first, 12, 13, 15 on the second, and then 12, 13, 16 on the first, and then 13, 15, 17 on the second, and then 13, 16, 17 on the first, and then 15, 17, 18 on the second, to 16, 17, 19 on the first. So if we start that at that third fret position on the second string, we get these patterns. So when I'm playing patterns like that, one thing I don't do, you hear a lot of people say, put your thumb behind the neck and have your hands like this. Um, that's great if you're playing chords or some classical pieces, but I find that if I'm just ripping scales and improvising and stuff, if I have my hand, my first finger sort of pointed to the side a little bit, I get a much better angle on the string and it's a lot more natural motion for me. So let's take that and find some cool patterns to play. If we just take like a diminished arpeggio, we get kind of a, a nice sound and we can resolve it on that A note. We can play the notes of the harmonic minor in between like this. I like the sound of that you can start that in the second string. And there I'm just sort of taking like the Ingve lick. So let me show you that run. I'll play six three five six five three on the second string. On the first string I'll play seven four five seven five four. Then I'm going to jump up and play 10, 7, 8, 10, 8, 7. Then I'm going to play 13, 10, 12, 13, 12, 10. And then I'm going to play the one that kind of has a little reach to it. 16, 12, 13, 16, 13, 12. And then I'll just hit A to resolve that. And I really like the sound of that. That's 
solo one, we can just run straight down the harmonic minor scale, doing kind of the Vinnie Moore pattern. But it has a nice resolution there. So I really like the sound of that. like to do is this long descending run kind of connecting some of those ideas together um, we can start up here in the 16th position and we're going to play 19 16 17 19 17 16 then we can play 18 15 17 18 17 15 on the second string we can jump down and play 15 12 13, 15, 13, 12. Then we can jump down and play 12, 9, 10, 12, 10, 9. And then I do this little run where I'll go 12 on the second string to 8, 10, 12, 10, 8 on the first. And that kind of gets me to the first string very comfortably. I like to go with that upstroke sometimes. After I play that, I'm going to play 10, 7, 8, 10, 8, 7. Then 8, 5, 7, 8, 7, 5. 7, 4, 5, 7, 5, 4. And then the A to resolve it. So slow, we get this. I like that run a lot. It sounds great. You don't have to play it super fast and you can also improvise around that run. And one thing I find is you want to keep the motion going with your left hand. Um, you don't want to try to tense up your left hand and try to speed the lick up by you know, squeezing your right hand or your arm or whatever you're picking with to make this go faster. The motion should just be kind of coming in the hand and this is kind of motoring along, kind of pushing it along. So there's a few patterns you can try in the A harmonic minor. I thought it would be fun to show you some of these. Um, maybe try them in your solos or improvisations and see what you come up with. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I really appreciate everyone who like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Um, and I look forward to seeing you next time. So take care and have fun picking.